Hello and welcome to Giving Grief. I'm your host, Alec Robbins, and I have with me today my guest, poet, Mira Gonzalez, and she is going to try to make me cry. As a poet, uh, you probably agree that um, words are beautiful and they can make somebody cry if they're beautiful enough, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'd like to play a quick little game with you called Poem or Not, and I've prepared some lines. They're from uh, poems, some of them are not from poems, and I just want you to guess if it's from a poem or not. Okay. Okay. And I'll just read them one at a time. I bequeath myself to the dirt to grow from the grass I love. If you want me again, look for me under your boot soles. Poem? Correct. Mm. Though my soul may set in darkness, it will rise in perfect light. I have loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night. Poem. Mm -hmm. Ouchie, I stubbed my toe! I would like that to be a poem, but unfortunately I think it's not. That's right. Thank you. I think I'm going to get a hang of that. Yeah, no, you so far, Mm. perfect record. (laughs) Oh no, the Entourage movie isn't getting a sequel! Uh, not poem. Yeah, that's right. (laughs) Oopsies, looks like Vince and the boys have gotten themselves into another pickle. Not a poem. Not a poem at all, right. I've never actually seen Entourage, thank you. It's a real trip. Yeah? It's a... Seems like a nightmare. It's so off base. Right. It's It's like a male power fantasy, but also... It's really earnest and cute about it because they just really? don't get how, not really, <laughs> but there's like there's like one of the jokes is a character drives off in a car, the bumper sticker on the car says I love cock, <laughs> and like it's not funny, yeah. but it's so funny that they think it's funny to me. Like, yeah, it's like almost endearing, like the way that like little yeah. kids think that weird shit is funny. It's like children. Yeah, yes. right. The entourage okay. boys are like children. So this next bit is chopping onions. We do it every episode. We always chop some onions. Unfortunately, we don't have any onions today. So, I have uh, just gotten photos of onions, <laughs> and we'll just go ahead and chop these instead with scissors. So you can okay, take a pair of scissors. You. I would like to ask you about any time recently that you cried, or uh, a so, sad moment in your life. So, I was dating this guy, okay. um, and he was a musician. He was a, not like super famous, but famous enough that people like knew who he was when I was dating him. Sure. Um, was he it, was like... Was it, uh, Adam Levine for me. It was Adam Levine, yeah. So I was dating Adam Levine. He was very, like, you know, like, he would, like, have a concert where he would, like, sing directly to me. Like, look me in the eye and, like, sing to me. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, what am I going to do? So I was, like, I was, like, into him. And the day before Thanksgiving, I get an email from him. He was like, hey, (laughs) I have an email I'm going to send you, and I want you to read it really carefully. And I was like, okay. And the email is basically like, so, like, this relationship isn't working, and I want to break up. Um, but please don't be mad at me. He literally said that. It said, please don't be mad please, at yeah, me. Yeah, please don't be upset. Yeah, that, he said, I uh, hope we can be friends. I'm doing this over email. Yeah. I sent him a G-chat. I was like, so I read your email and like, what the fuck? Like, I had <laughs> no idea this was like, 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 I thought you were coming to celebrate like Thanksgiving with my family. Oh, like, God. what the hell happened? And then he was like, well, if you read it really carefully, like, that's really what I want to say. So like, just, I, I just urge you to just keep, you know, read it like over and over again. And I think you'll understand. And I was like, was there like a hidden line in 8.5 no, at the bottom or something? No, it was like, I don't want to date you anymore, but don't be angry at me basically. And so I, you read it carefully enough. I read it carefully you, you enough. I, re- I mean, when you get like a breakup email out of nowhere, like you read it pretty carefully. It's the only time I've been broken up with via email. So Mira, a lot of people would probably agree that the people we look up most to in life are our parents and disappointing them feels awful. So what I've done is uh, I've written a letter as if my father wrote it to me, and I'm going to have you just dress up like him, if that's okay, and uh, hopefully when you read it, I will envision my real father and it'll evoke a response. All right. Ready? Yeah. Do you think this will look even? That looks really good, yeah. (laughs) And this pipe. Mm -hmm. All right. And you can just kind of, yeah. Perfect. It's a brand new pipe, by the way. And I've also prepared this letter that I'd like you to read as if you're my father. Okay. So you can just go ahead and read that to me, and I'm going to listen. All right. Let me get into dad dad mode. Dear son, it's me, your dad. I'm just writing to remind you that you're still on my health insurance. You are 26 years old. Did you know that? Most 26-year-olds have jobs and houses and boats by now. If only you could get a job doing the thing you're best at, bleeding me dry. Another thing you're good at is not being your younger brother who worked for Google. Have you heard of Google? No, you're probably too busy spending my money and not working at Google. Anyway, I love you. Dad. 
Okay, uh, that hurt for a lot of reasons. I don't think it um, got me to tears, but thank you for the effort. Sometimes people cry when they're hurt so much, and then they're in such physical pain, uh, it brings them to tears. Oh, Jesus. So I thought I'd protect myself and let you just hit me hmm. until I cried. Are you comfortable doing that? Yeah. It probably won't hurt too bad with all uh, this, though, huh? I think it's worth a shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Um, so I'll go straight for the face, then? No, please don't do that. Oh, um, yeah. okay. All right, so from sitting or from standing, should I start Just, <laughs> just, just start now? Just go just, ahead. Right. You can go hard, isn't it? You can go a lot. Harder. Like, seriously, yeah, there you go. Okay, no, like, give it everything you got, like a real <laughs> sock. Yeah, perfect. I think as if I'm not giving it everything I've got. Even harder. <laughs> Yeah, this is like, it's not really working here. Yank me down and, like, like, yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, go for it. I feel like I need to, like, think of something that makes me really aggressive. Yeah. Oh, my God. Think of, like, just... Think of, like, like misogyny. Like... Oh, uh, yeah. Misogyny sucks. Like, Get homophobia. I need a body of misogyny. I hate women. I hate people who aren't me. Um, everything you hate in the world. All wrapped up into one ball. One puffy go. man. Oh, shit. Oh, well, thank you. No, um. You're not crying? No, no, that just hurt a shitload. Thank you.